Uh, what do you ask on that? What'd you do on that parry? Morning. How's it going? Hey, hey Bruce. How you doing? Um, anyway, I feel like I feel like Thompson is that way with the line. Like, How much is the, I'm sorry to interrupt you. How much is the jersey? Um, I had 50 on it. 50? It's Parkside. It's like right. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a Delaware County. County piece. Yeah. 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 I go. I, I'd go 40 on it. If you All right, I'll take it for 40. Okay. Yeah. Still, since it's local for me. But like they, they have Barry Falter. I'm still trying to figure out what they think is so good about him. You know, they say his release point, how, how far he is. Deceptive, deceptive. Yeah, but they, by the time they go through the second, <laughs> the change, you have change on that? If not, I can. Yeah, okay. They, they, they figure him out. So he always falls apart the fourth and fifth inning. Great. Appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. What's that, a high school park size? Uh, it's, a, it's a little borough next to yeah. Chester. Yeah, a very small section between Chester and like uh, Media or Bookhaven. I have my, I have one junior varsity jersey for Thanks again. my Thank high school you. years. None of my varsity was right Excuse me. Okay. Hey Tim, how's it going? You mind if I set this down here a second while I look around? Of course. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to. That's all right. I don't want to hide your stuff. Whew.
where are you at now? Can you just, uh, are you just in Renegers now or do you have other? No, I'm in uh, well, Adam's Antiques. We have four booths in there. Okay. We have one booth in Mad Hatter in a few cases. Okay. And then there's a one across the street from Mad Hatter at Adam's Town Antique Mall. Okay. We have a couple in there too. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I would say if you're going to look at our stuff, Adam says we have four booths in there. It's a ton of stuff, okay. like probably 20 showcases. Yeah, okay. mostly sports. What do you get, Tim? What are you asking on your uh, the Eagles Nodder? Yeah. Not a, it's yeah. got a little. I see a little ding on the corner, yeah. right? Yeah. It's pretty clean, though, otherwise. 75 bucks. 75? Yeah. And how about, uh, I see you're tagged on the Phillies one here. Uh, what are you asking on that? What'd you do on that pair, I guess I should say? Thank you. I see your uh, your code. Do you sell in the shop as well? I see you had like a is that is that like an inventory code? Yeah. Well, actually, I, I do that. It's my pricing code. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah. I got you. Okay. <laughs> I, you know, back in the day when I was your age, I yeah. remember everything I bought 20 years ago. So oh, I, well, yeah, no, I, I don't remember anymore either. But I even stopped trying to remember because once I own it, you know, what you, what you paid for it doesn't really matter. Anymore. Right. <laughs> you know. Well. Yeah. I mean, it helps. It helps you when you're negotiating. Exactly. You know, exactly. But, uh, and that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I, I, I'm the same way already. I, I still, it's nice to know when you're at, you don't want to take a loss on stuff if you can avoid it. How was the Philly show for you? I heard it was like insanely packed. Yeah, it was. Very proud of it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, there was a nice crowd. It was a good show. Not not quite as good as the show I had. Before. I had my best show ever. The one before that. The show before that. We're going back to that that big room. Yeah. This time. And, uh, oh, is that so? It wasn't in the same room. No, was it was in the smaller room. Okay, where well, the first time they were in the smaller room, right? Exactly. But like no, yeah. ba one bathroom and. Yeah. From now on out, it's going to be in the bigger room. Okay, that's good. All right, appreciate it, Tim. Good luck. So the first thing I picked up in this video is this great 1920s baseball jersey. It's by Briggs of Chester, Pennsylvania, Parkside. Parkside is a city not too far from me, right next to Chester. I'm a couple towns over in Delaware County. Uh, but this area, Delaware County, had a very prolific sports, like a lot of athletic clubs in the area, both in baseball and football. See, this one has AA on the sleeve for Athletic Association. The back has Bridewell chain stitched. A very nice jersey. It does have some staining and some uh, yeah, some damage to it, but still, to find a piece, especially if it's local for me, I, I was pretty happy with that. And then a pair of pants. It's a 1967, 76 years pennant. It does have some felt loss. But the best piece is behind that. This is one of the better Phillies pennants, other than some of the early, like 1910 oversize, you know, sewn letter pennants, like 1915 World Series pennants. Those pennants are a different stratosphere. But as far as like 40s and later pennants, the Phillies Blue Jay roster pennant is definitely one of the better pennants there is. All right, so I'm gonna take a brief interlude here just to go into what the Phillies Blue Jay connection was all about. Uh, so in 1943, after a very unsuccessful season where the team would lose 90 games, the team was sold to the Carpenter family. And the following year in 1944, the new ownership would decide to run a contest, probably to drum some interest up in the team. Uh, and the contest was for fans to submit new team name ideas. And over 5,000 fans submitted entries. There were over 600 different team names suggested including every animal imaginable a bunch of other interesting names which included the aces 
the strugglers, bell ringers, Quakers, and a whole lot more. Uh, but a fan would win the contest with the name Blue Jays, winning uh, this lady, uh, Mrs. Brooks, a $100 war bond as a prize. And the Phillies would adopt the Blue Jay mascot graphic on their jersey from 1944 to 1946. But also it was on all types of other items, including buttons and the pennants, like the one I show in the video here. Uh, that graphic, that mascot graphic would remain on the uniforms from 1944 to 1946, at which time it was removed. But that graphic would still show up in team publications for a few more years before it vanished for good in 1949. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please subscribe. Mm -hmm.